Yeah, yeah. I've been what? listening to okay, I, I've been listening to an album from like one of my best friends in the world. Her name's Lila. It's called Atlantis. Great album. I should go. Lila. Lila, yeah. Lala. 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 Lila, yeah. Great album. Um, what else? I've been listening to a lot of Baby Drill for meditation. Um, and I've been listening to the new SZA. I listen to the new SZA. Incredible. She's. Um, and what else? What else? Obviously, we're listening. We're running to Bob right now. Yeah. We're running to Bob Marley. We're running a lot of pop con as you. But we're going. My, my brothers are deep. Um, at a spot tonight. You're, All right. you're but that's kind of where I've been. I've just been vibing out. You know, my um, uh, Gordo, my brother Gordo, who produced on Honestly Nevermind, his album is insane. Insane. Like, I've been running that a lot. Um, I don't know. Chubbs, Chubbs, where's Chubbs? Chubbs, Chubbs, has some, Chubbs has some great artists, too. Chubbs is, you know, Chubbs is doing his thing. He has some incredible artists that he's playing me. Lavish and, and a couple other people that he's working with. Great. But yeah, we're, we're just, I don't know, we're just vibed out. So Drake just revealed all the artists that he's been listening to. And this is always interesting to hear the greatest of all time, the biggest rapper right now, Drake, just talk about what he actually listens to, where he gets some of his influences from. And he pretty much mentioned an artist named Lila, who I have never heard before. And knowing Drake is probably some some girl that he has like a crush on, that he's probably gonna fly out, you know what I mean? Kind of like the whole Ice Spice situation and Georgia Smith situation, you know what I mean? So like, I'm not gonna even check that out, to be honest with you. And Baby Drill, I looked up Baby Drill and I was like, he said it's for meditation, but like, how is Baby Drill meditation? He's like a drill artist that I looked up on YouTube and I'm like, yo, how is this for meditation? This is some hard street shit. Maybe this is like some, some vaporwave type of music that he was thinking, or, you know, those lo-fi rappies, maybe that's what he was talking about, but I've never heard of Baby Drill except the, the rapper named Baby Drill. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna check out Lila, and then Scissor dropped a brand new project. I hear it's amazing. I sold 315K first week, but it took her five years to drop it. But hey, it doesn't really surprise me that Drake likes Scissor's brand new album as he dated back in 20, 2008. Right when Drake was kind of just getting out of the, the grassy days, you know what I mean? That just shows how long Drake has been in the game. And since he's been in the game for a long time as well, I think she started like in 2015 or 2014 back with TDE, so this is when SZA was pretty much like a nobody. So how did they even connect together? Like how? I don't understand, you know what I mean? Like I really don't understand how they ever dated, but they both confirmed it since it talks about it on the album and stuff like that and i'm gonna be real with you i couldn't get past the the second song with this album i just can't really listen to super feminine music like it's just like i'm gonna be real with you it's just not for me i'm, I'm gonna keep trying though like especially hearing drake say this is album is w maybe i'm gonna have to go check it out again because you know, it's Drake. Drake has crazy good taste in music. And then Drake also talking about Popcorn, who's a dance hall legend. You know what I mean? I was I was in a dance hall a few times, you know what I mean? Like, I like Vibes Cartel. Obviously, I'm not Jamaican, so I don't really understand what they're saying. It's definitely some good vibes, though. But it doesn't really surprise me. Drake already has a few collabs with Popcorn on, on I believe it was Fuse and More Life and a few remixes. So he has a lot of different he's definitely in touch with the, the whole jamaican scene dance hall scene and obviously in the background the interview listening to some bob marley so of course he's gonna mention bob marley but i really wanted drake to talk about my favorite rapper yeet because i know he he listens to yeet. i know drake is tapped in he's probably listening to hard rock and all these new guys south south silhouette vampire i know he's tapped in but I think the reason he's not talking about those artists is he's not trying to give them shine right now. Because Drake has a huge cosign. You know what I mean? Just him talking about an artist. That's a cosign in general. But let me know in the comments, is this a W for Drake? Listen to these artists. Baby Drill, Lila, Popcorn, Bob Marley. You know what I mean? So let me know in the comments what do you guys think about all of this. Like this video.